it's actually made up? All of your fake genders that you have compiled together into a little graphic that shows, oh, you can be half woman, half man. Oh, you're all man except your arm is woman. Like, you've got to be kidding me. It's a joke. Your entire mentality based on all of your genders is a joke. You're mentally ill, you're sick, get some medicine, and stay home, stay out of society, because obviously you don't belong here. I hope you wipe out your entire generation. I created a monster, cause nobody wants to see monster no more They want shady, I'm chopped liver Well if you want shady, this is what I'll give you A little bit of weed mixed with some hard liquor Some vodka that'll jump start my heart quicker than the shock When I get shot at the hospital with well, a doctor When I'm not cooperating When I'm rocking the table while he's operating You waited as long as being a woman and getting kicked out of a woman's march I know that you got a job, Miss Cheney But your husband's heart problem's complicated So the FCC won't let me be or let me be me So let me see They try to shut me down Bisexual lighting, bisexual lighting, bisexual lighting, bisexual lighting, bisexual lighting, bisexual lighting, bisexual lighting. I didn't break it there. I just recorded this entire video, but then realized that I had my camera in vertical instead of horizontal because I've just been so used to recording TikTok videos. You can see I'm in an empty room. That's because I'm moving and I haven't put any of my stuff in my room. Granite, I've been in this house for over two months now and still haven't put together my bed, but that is besides the point. Now while I have some actual nuanced videos in the making about legitimate dangerous transphobia in our society that's more accepted, this video isn't that. This video is really just laughing at someone that's really transphobic and really dumb. Because sometimes you just need a break from the serious. Just make fun of some transphobes. That's what we're gonna do today. Make fun of some transphobes. Specifically one transphobe. So, the transphobe that we're gonna be making fun of today. Her name is Kaylee Campbell. She apparently had a TikTok account that had like almost 100,000 followers and then she got deleted. Big surprise. You're mentally ill, you're sick, get some medicine, and stay home, stay out of society, because obviously you don't belong here. Big tech censorship, am I right? So, the first thing that we need to look at is how I found out about her. I didn't find out about her on her old, like, bigger account. She made a new account, and I saw this one video, which is how I found her. It was on my For You page. Let's just take a quick look at it. Well, first of all, totally real ex-boyfriend dodged a major bullet. King. Absolute giga chad. Second point. Why, why the f*** are you recording it like that? Uh, yes, guys. I believe that we should take away women's rights. Let me just lean over this rail as far as I can. Like, what is she doing? Auditioning to be in the next Inception movie? And the third thing is that the story really probably isn't true because if her imaginary ex was living with her, he'd probably know her political opinions based on how egregious they are and based on how open she is with it. And secondly, you have lease agreements. You can't just like kick someone out to the streets. There's a new movie out on Netflix that we've all been meaning to watch and it's called He's Expecting and it's about some dumb Asian guy who's apparently pregnant and it's supposed to insinuate, you know, men can get pregnant too, whatever. No, it's a woman. It's a transgender man. I don't even know what they're called at this point. I don't know. But um, this is the kind of stuff that cannot be posted on Netflix. Sorry, not happening, can't happen. 
Now, Netflix has a history of doing this with uploading movies about like gay Jesus and basically just all kinds of anti-Christian and anti-conservative content. So in my personal opinion, I think that she's probably just really dumb and really bigoted. But I do think that there's two possibilities for why she does this stuff. The first one, which I believe, is that she's really dumb. That her brain just has like two brain cells clonking against each other like a pair of confederate flag truck nuts in the wind, creating bad take after bad take. Trans people should die. Ha, <laughs> good point. Knuckles hurt after that. Or the second option is that she's just running that grift real hard to attract as many racist conservative middle-aged white men as she can. And if that's her goal, she's popping off. She is hammering her target audience. Just look at the comments. Just look at them. Only second to Viagra for getting racist old men rock hard. And if that is the case, I just gotta say, I respect the hustle. But like, I, I, re I really don't respect the hustle. I don't respect it at all. If that's really the case, you're just like a piece of shit. Oh God, she thinks women belong in the kitchen. Oh, she thinks trans people are weird. Ah. Oh my God, guys, she wants to be back in the 50s when marital rape wasn't the thing, oh my God. I want to be back in the 50s too. I want to abuse my wife without consequence. Oh my god, she wants to be back in the 50s and 60s when we could call black people the n-word and marital rape wasn't a thing so we could just abuse our wives. She wants that. Oh my god, I'm so hard. So while editing, I looked up the account that called Kaylee Campbell mommy in uh, her comments and um, I found some just top-notch content. Protect and serve. These these are the people protecting and serving our community. I'm about to go to bed. I'm sleep deprived, and this is just too funny to me. Okay. I'm literally about to cry. Mr. Cop Man is about to make me cry. TikTok. Next. TikTok. I already told you. The girls that get it, get it. The girls that don't, don't. I already told you. I do get it. I do agree. I agree with this video. Women are women. And men are men. And like trans women are women. Which is like the first woman you're talking about. And they're women. So you think that trans women are women. And same thing for men. It's trans men are men, which is the first man, and then you're saying that men are men. So you're like saying that trans men are men and trans women are women. I agree with you. Thank you. This has this all just been, you're secretly for the trans, you're secretly a progressive that's just trying to make conservatives look really bad. Oh my god, you're a psyop. Trans rights. I, I finally cracked the egg. She's really just a trans activist, guys. She loves trans people. Mm. I'm so happy to have a fellow comrade. Next TikTok! Because the White House is now hiring people who were failed high school dropouts and people who only got famous based In this video, she's actually trying to make a cohesive political point, which is really less funny. It just makes her look really dumb. And I just have to like go through her video and point by point like deconstruct why she's just absolutely wrong and just doesn't understand basic economics or how the world works and why gas prices act in the way that they do. And that would take a long time. And I'll do that in other videos, but like, she's too dumb for that. I, it's, I feel like doing that would just be giving her too much respect. So I guess we're just gonna go like to the next video because like, I, I, I really couldn't be asked. I really couldn't be asked. Basic rundown.
Oh, I just explained it. I got baited into explaining it. I made a rundown. Why did I do the rundown? Oh my God. I always do it. I always do this. I, I always do, I always do it. I always have to explain it. Autism, autism. I, it, it's autism. It's autism. And of course, we're gonna have the conservative stereotype where they victimize themselves. And yes, why conservatives are absolutely the victims. They're so oppressed, guys. The most oppressed class in all of America. I'm so sorry you were born this way. You straggits get so much hate. It's so hard to deal with and I fully understand. I'm just a bleeding heart liberal for you. Please take my love. Other than the point that conservatives really aren't oppressed and also that being a conservative is something that you choose to be, being a bigot is something that you choose to be, ignoring all that, you're complaining about getting attacked on social media, right? That's what you're complaining about. Um, so let's just take a, a quick look at your next video. Matter of sexualities, it's not a real sexuality. It literally is. You wanna know what's actually made up? All of your fake genders that you have compiled together into a little graphic that shows, oh, you can be half woman, half man. Oh, you're all man except your arm is woman. Like, you've gotta be kidding me. It's a joke. Your entire mentality based on all of your genders is a joke. You're mentally ill, you're sick, get some medicine, and stay home, stay out of society, because obviously you don't belong here. You want to sit here and say that being straight is the all lives matter of sexualities and that being straight doesn't exist? Really? Then why do we produce and you can't? I hope you wipe out your entire generation. But other than the obvious absolute misunderstanding of gender, what the f*** is wrong with you? You sound so triggered. Holy sh I'm sorry, I gotta rewatch that. That was just like too much hate balled up into one short clip that I just, I couldn't absorb all of it. My hate receptors were just like sending it off into the cosmos. All of your fake genders that you have compiled together into a little graphic that shows- Where's the graphic? I want the gender graphic. Show me the gender graphic, please. Oh, you can be half woman, half man. Oh! Not how gender works, but- You're all man except your arm is woman. Oh, sorry. Give me a second. I'm putting makeup on my arm because it's feeling femme today. Like, you've got to be kidding me. It's a joke. Your entire mentality based on all of your genders is a joke. You're mentally ill, you're sick, get some medicine, and stay home, stay out of society, because obviously you don't belong here. You know, you know, you know, you know, they do get medicine, right? You're, you're the one advocating against the medicine. Let's go by your logic. Yes, they are mentally ill. They have gender dysphoria. That is something they struggle with. That is something they deal with. The medicine is hormone blockers for younger people and then going through HRT for older people having top or bottom surgeries. That is the medicine. We have the medicine and they are taking the medicine. You're the one complaining about it. <laughs> You're just mad that the science has found the medicine for it. It is absolutely statistically proven that the best outcomes for trans people are them socially and sometimes medically transitioning. That leads to the best outcomes, the happiest people. And as a utilitarian, I care about happy people. And the medicine that you so badly want this woman to take is the medicine you don't like. Stay out of society, because obviously you don't belong here. Like, this is so mask off and vile. I can't even take this seriously. People like this exist, but the people that are the real threat aren't this mask off. They know when they've lost. They know when to change their like tactic and to like attack hormone blockers for children or trans athletes. They know when to switch their game up. This woman <laughs> didn't get the cue to switch her game up. She's just going full mask off. 
And I get it, she's getting a bunch of simps in the comments, a bunch of guys, and if that's her goal, getting really racist, bigoted men to simp for her, then like, I guess keep going with this. You wanna sit here and say that being straight is the all lives matter of sexualities and that being straight doesn't exist? Really, then why do we produce and you can't? I hope you wipe out your entire generation. Holy sh What a straw man. She never said that straight people don't exist. Like, super straight was absolutely made as like a reactionary talking point to like shit on trans people. The whole point of being a super straight person is a shit on trans people. And you're so triggered and your, sp your, your views are just so vile. Just straight up vile. So she's small enough to see and react to my TikToks if I make TikToks about her because I have like a decent following on TikTok and if I make TikToks about her in a like baity enough way, she'll absolutely respond. So how I'm going to troll her? I'm gonna bait out a response from her. And because like all bigots are predictable and especially bigots like her are super predictable in how they respond to stuff, I'm going to pre-record a response to her response to pretty much just show how predictable and just how dumb her points are. So I'm like pre-recording a response because I just know what she's gonna say. So my goal is to make a TikTok responding to hers which will upset her enough to respond to my TikTok that I made about her TikTok, like trigger her enough to make a TikTok about me, and then predict like what she's going to say and how she's gonna say it, and pre-record responses to just like be like, haha, I knew what you're gonna say, and just try and trigger her more. I know it's dumb, I know it's stupid, but it's the best I got right now, and I think it's gonna be actually pretty funny if it works, which I think it will. Anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know that trans people are valid, children should be taught about trans people and their existence. Also, I think that puberty blockers are okay. I meant to just make this video to kind of be fun and like poke at someone who's really transphobic and really dumb about their transphobia, but um, it ended up going badly. Instead of responding to those TikToks how I respected her to, she just mass reported me. She abused the mass report feature to try and like silence me. Which is really funny because she constantly talks about censorship and how she's constantly censored and complains about it. And then she goes and abuses the TikTok report feature to get as many of my videos taken down as possible. Another thing is in the video I question whether she's like a grifter that's just doing it to like get simps or whether she's like serious about her beliefs. After further looking into it, she is serious. She is an awful person in real life. Um, I got information from someone who used to be her friend. But yeah, she is awful in real life and believes all these things. It's not that it would make it much better, but this isn't a grift. This is just her being a genuinely awful person. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Commenting really helps me like get more engagement on the video, which helps boost it. And I do think this is a good video, so you should help me boost it. Also like, like I said. Why am I moving my hands all over the place? I look like I'm Italian or gay or a gay Italian. But anyways, I already told you guys to like, subscribe, and comment. Ugh, I hate how I place my hands. I need media training. I absolutely need media training. Yeah. That's the end of the video. Thank you guys. Bye. Oh, f it's like... 4 a.m. and I'm super tired and taxes are due tomorrow and I have to finish doing the layout and design for a literary publication because that's my job. Yeah.